So physical properties. All of these different compounds we talk about, their structures and their names and their physical properties and their reactions. There's this kind of pattern going here. And the, the things we look at with the uh, physical properties are things like solubility in water, melting and boiling points, um, which are related to physical states at room temperature. And a lot of that has to do with how polar the molecule is and whether it can undergo hydrogen bonding with itself and or with water. So carboxylic acids are really quite polar. Um, on that carboxyl group, we've got the carbonyl group, which is polar, and the hydroxyl group is polar. Because we have this hydroxyl group on here, we have the potential for, excuse me, for hydrogen bonding. So hydrogen bonding being the strongest intermolecular force is going to cause carboxylic acids to have higher melting and boiling points compared to similar sized organic compounds that are not carboxylic acids. And we see that in this graph. So here are the acids. Um, we're graphing boiling point versus number of carbons. We see the alkanes, which only have um, London dispersion forces, having the lowest, and then aldehydes, which have some polarity with that carbonyl group, but no hydrogen bonding. And then we see the alcohols next, and then the carboxylic acids with the highest mel melting and boiling points. And the reason for that is that carboxylic acids can form two hydrogen bonds. They form a dimer. So here's one carboxylic acid. There's the carbonyl carbon. Car I'm sorry, the carboxyl carbon. And we've got the OH coming off here. And here's the carbon-oxygen double bond. That can form two hydrogen bonds with a neighboring carboxylic acid molecule. So two hydrogen bonds is going to be stronger than one hydrogen bond. An alcohol can only form one hydrogen bond with another alcohol molecule. Um, because of the polarity and the hydrogen bonding, carboxylic acids, the small ones, are going to be completely miscible with water. And remember, miscibility means that they can dissolve in each other in any proportion. You could have a little bit of carboxylic acid and a lot of water, or you can have a lot of carboxylic acid and a little bit of water, any proportion. That's what completely miscible means. So we see that the miscibility is, is complete. Um, for the first four, for up to four carbons, and after that, the solubility drops off sharply. Because as the carbon chain increases, the effect of the carbon... I'm sorry, the effect of the hydrogen bonding becomes less and less. And this is a general trend that solubility of organic compounds de in water decreases as the compound gets larger. The aromatic carboxylic acids are generally not water-soluble, which you can kind of figure out, because for it to be aromatic, it has to have at least one benzene ring and the carboxyl carbon. So that's seven carbons. And here we go. Seven carbons is down here. Very low solubility.